One of my favorite things is YouTube. No kidding, we all watch YouTube. Now, do you make YouTube videos? Do you upload YouTube videos? Well, if you make and upload YouTube videos, you wanna share those videos. And I don't know about you, but when I go into my YouTube channel, it only shows me this many videos when I have this many, and I gotta scroll to the next page, go to the next page, and I'm always wondering, like, can I just have it in a spreadsheet? Can I just have it in a spreadsheet? Because the answer is always a spreadsheet, of course. So I coded this for you. After you make a copy of the spreadsheet, you're gonna come up here to the menu where it says list YouTube, and you're gonna choose make list of videos. So I'm gonna make list of videos, continue. Now, of course, as always, you need to authorize the add-on. It'll give you a really scary screen saying, back to safety, and this hasn't been approved by Google, and that's correct, because I didn't submit it. It's a lot faster and easier for me to share it with you, if I just put it out there and I don't ask Google to look at it first. So you can trust me, I don't want your data, I don't collect any of your data on any of my add-ons, no PII, I have none of it. So no worries about that. So you're gonna click on advanced, and then it's gonna expand out a little bit and say unsave, and they're just saying, hey, no one at Google has approved this, but I approve it, because I made it. So go ahead, make a copy, that makes you the owner. You'll notice that when you're approving it, it says, allow your email permission to access. So you're only giving yourself access to your own files. So no worries about that. Okay, so here it is. I have authorized it. I'm gonna come back up. I'm gonna make a list of videos. Make a list of videos. And that's really it. That is the entire process. You can see that it is just making me a list of all my videos. So just use the menu, create some video list. And it will time out. If you are on a personal account, you only get five minutes of coding time and then it times out. So if you're like me and you have thousands of videos, you might run out. But then I looked, I'm like, do I really wanna be sharing those videos out from 2015 anyway? <sighs> Not really that important. So it will give you your most recent at the top. So hey, Alice, I just made some new videos and now my list is out of date. No problem, because all you have to do, I'm gonna cancel is just come back up to the list and make a list of videos. And so what you'll see is that it made a new sheet and it's just gonna start over. So every time you use the menu, it just adds a new sheet and it starts listing all of your videos, including your new ones. So save the sheet. You could just share the spreadsheet with someone. Click the share button, here's my YouTube videos, and help them to find all of the resources that you've created. Also, it's in a spreadsheet, so you can organize it however you want. You can color code them, you can change some of the descriptions, you can add extra columns, you can do whatever you want. It's just listed in a spreadsheet, whatever you wanna do with it. Now, I like to tweet. So what I have is I come down, find a video I wanna share, come to the right, and you'll see here in column H, column H, I have the option for click here to tweet who did the work. So if I'm gonna click on this, come on, Where's this showing up? There it is. And launch it, it actually launches the tweet. Come on. Aha, it launches the tweet, so I can just click tweet, and there it goes. So it already lists the title, it lists the description, it lists the link to your video, and also gives you a link to make it easier for you to just tweet it out if you'd like to share.